Welcome to today's Together Tech session, Idea Cafe. Matouche has arrived, and what is it we can create together? Generally, for Idea Cafes, we all take a chance to share, but it doesn't necessarily need to be true. So the topic for this one is what can we do together? Yep, what can we create together? She may have beaten to death four of us, but. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, it's good to come back and think about it again because we all kind of get distracted on our own projects and stuff. Uh, so it's good to come back to it. What we definitely created already is many hours of very interesting talks about what we can create together. <laughs> that is true. So when Carrie watched them, was like, you guys did a lot. Why does no one sit down and watch all of these? I'm like, you're the only one who says it's going to sit down and watch all of these. That is more dedication than I'm willing to put in. I'm not rewatching them. But I appreciate what she is and what she is doing in this space, because I think she is going to weave us together in a way that I'm not going to. I'm just going to start shows that up. like separate skill set that nobody had sort of until she showed up and they were like, oh, that was direly needed. <laughs> I can see that it was needed. I just can't do it. It's like yeah, admin work's yeah. always needed. Yeah. Like it's hard to put it in words. <laughs> like I still can't really explain what it is that she's doing, but I can tell like, I'm glad she's doing it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to do it. And now she's doing it. I'm like, there's some value there. Absolutely. Also just going to put this on. Someone's talk for a moment. I'm just going to put this on the I'm pretty sure I did put it on here. For all I know, I put the wrong one on. You know me. That could be what I do. <laughs> felt like I'm glad you're doing no, it. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. Opened up. How's you doing it? Like there's some value there. It's weird hearing my voice. <laughs> nope, that's just the right one. I'll just sit here in silence while I meet the other. <laughs> Sorry, I was checking the. I had to find the other one and then it started, but it is playing in my other tab, but on silent. I don't know where the other one is in Game D, but if anyone wants to find that and post the link to come and participate in that one in Game B, feel free. Otherwise, we can just get started on an actual conversation. Anyone's free to join on video? Boys, there's Gary. Oh, we were just <laughs> talking about you. Oh, my, 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 no one can see you. I know, I know. Can you hear yeah, you? I, yeah, I can hear you all. I'm just saying I'm from the edge of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to do the go out and come back in. Can we hear anyone? <laughs> can anyone? Yeah, we've been hearing each other the whole time. I heard her. Yeah, I think she's she's saying I muted right everything. Exactly. I muted everything. I'm with you. Like you're all silent. That's really weird. <laughs> oh. Right. right. Okay, I'm from the I'm I'm coming calling from the edge of darkness. Hey. <laughs> I'm getting a new the basement. Oh yeah, the the, the basement, basement of, doom. of game B. Hi, the basement of game B Doom. <laughs> game basement. <laughs> Well, I've just, I've just um, I was having loads of problems um, getting to chat to Adam, but I managed to chat to Adam now. So I've got loads of ideas and stuff, but I need to kind of, there's people I need to grab together. But the idea was to, to kind of host a conversation with Adam and a few others about ways and means of doing things and sharing his ideas and that. So I've asked him to send me everything he's got in terms of helping and uh, as i said it's uh, it's all it it's just a garbled mess in my head at the moment so that'll just come come together a, a bit soon but yeah hello everybody <laughs> hello who's adam <laughs> not adam 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 um adam miller who's on um facebook we were having a chat in game b projects because i thought what he said was relevant and i just wanted to help him get his thoughts to maybe develop into sort of like prototypes for projects to to maybe help stem things you know what i mean so um 
I've got a few ideas of that. And I think Linda wants to join the conversation with that as well. And um, I spoke to Brett this week as well, Brett Wachowski. Um, who else does I speak to? Uh, Bentley. I, I spoke to Bentley this week as well. So, so yeah. So um, I'll, I'll shut up now. I'll let you talk because um, you know what I'm like. Talk legs off donkeys. There's, there's loads of donkeys who've lost the legs. <laughs> We'll start. We'll start a project. We'll get them. We'll get them legs. <laughs> we'll get them legs. <laughs> There'll be donkey legs everywhere. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, oh Bentley, yeah. before before the shut up, right? You know, um, Jim Rock was talking about stuff, right? And he was talking about um, in, about about the intellectual dark web. I, I uh, uh yeah. I'm waving and no one can see me. That's really <laughs> shit, isn't it? Right, Bentley. So, um. When Jim did that talk about the intellectual dark web and he was saying he's going offline to discuss things with somebody, maybe you should offer reason score up to him as a way of sort of like seeing what they agree on and stuff like that as well. Maybe if you, you put that in front of him and say, look, Jim, yes, <laughs> I've got something for you you could use, you know what I mean? Yes, uh, that's a possibility. I don't know if, uh, I guess two concerns if it's kind of ready for that okay, deep of a conversation and also right. just you know i think that they're pretty um <clears throat> they're they're kind of in the in the space of exploration where you're expanding your scope and reason score is for when you're narrowing your scope right um, okay but it i think it'd be useful in some of those things so i appreciate well, you also um i mentioned to adam right about maybe starting something from a local grassroots level and working our way up on things and then maybe finding somebody in the group who's really good with strategies who can maybe we can develop help us develop strategies from work from the top top down and bottom up and meet in the middle somewhere you know what i mean so i was just thinking about that so do you know anyone in the group who's really good at strategies and that who maybe might be interested in in developing strategies for for what he was talking about I don't mean by specific strategies. I mean, I think there's tons of people who are good at strategy, but right. do they we call each other like actually come together and do it? I don't know if. Right. Okay. So I think I'm maybe know, the right person will show up at the right time. I just want to mention. Oh, there we there we go. Maybe Linda, you're back on now. <laughs> I just want to mention you were frozen. I took you down and back up. But if it doesn't work, you can just go out and come back in. And sometimes that that works. All right. What is it we can create together? Where did what happened? Carrie, when you come back, I will also, of course, add you. Guess we'll need to connect to Mike and Cam. We're having some issues with tech today. So, um, are we? Do you think we're focusing on things we can create together? That's a part of the meta project, or just in general, what's a thing we all could do together? I don't know. It was honestly just a placeholder of a question because there was like something we're constantly talking about and I couldn't think of a specific idea cafe yeah, for us to bring our good. projects to. Um, so any of it, really. One of the things, I mean, we can hold a solution raising, but I don't think that that's necessarily the space for it. Um, what are like, what I would like to hear from people is what is being created in this space right now? Because I know, like, I'm part of have my fingers in different pies and doing different different things. What everyone's has been creating in this space, what you've learned from this space, meaning this space on the bigger green B space, and um, what you see, which I love at the end of solution raising, which I can't forget to do, is what is the biggest, what is the thing you think is the best um, chance of succeeding, right? Like, what is it that you think is the most powerful thing that you've come across? Well, I've noticed several people still kind of working on the organizing and kind of introductory stuff of Game B. So there's the Google Doc of things for people when they come in. There's Game B. This is all fairly new. I can't remember what's Nick Redmark working on. He's he recently did a. It's not the Game B wiki, but it's something similar. Um, but kind of organizing all that info. And then, of, of course, Carrie's done a great job of organizing the Game B projects space. So that kind of organizing Game B information in a way that's a little bit more consumable. 
um, has been something I've seen some progress, even though it's kind of haphazard and distracted. So as expected. So I think next project that you're talking about is the game B library. Yes, the library. Right. Yeah, so there's, and then there's one other person that's been wanting to do, the one brought up onboarding again, and I didn't see too many people fighting against it like previously, but, uh, but yeah, that's that sort of thing. So I think several people are pushing in that area, and we'll see if, if any of those gain traction. Yeah, I think onboarding is becoming more and more important. I just think it needs to be something that leaves you knowing that there's always more to know, that you will never be caught up, you will never be complete, and it isn't about, you know, steering everybody in one direction. Let me take the ship's wheel and I'll fight over the ship's wheel. Yeah. Like, All right. And or overly, overly defining it as this is what it is, which was the concern. It should be like we're exploring, so we don't know what it is, but here's kind of, here's some ideas we have, please change these break these you know i think if you say that up front people won't take it as dogma um so i think it's okay but some people were concerned that that no matter what you do people will take it as dogma but i think people will do that if you don't explicitly say it's not uh and if they just see it in the group but it's my opinion yeah i think i think that's good like i just joined on i think it was like sunday or monday and when I first came in, I was expecting, like, I think as people, our nature is to look for the dogma. What are the rules for this? How, what is this, right? And I think that now I've learned that the game B, like that page, is really where you explore and make connections and to find people who are talking about stuff you're interested in. And I think that um, like the, probably the specific, um, sub pages, like projects or like it's the sub pages are probably where people want to go if they're looking for that, like concentrated, um, place to go where they're trying to go. So I think making people aware that there are like those sub pages would be helpful um, for people and kind of give them that, that, um, the idea that game B really is like the, the main page is just this e exploring space and to not expect that to happen right here. Like you need to actually go over there for some more, um, focused type collaboration on um, certain projects. Yeah. And the information that uh, something I picked up uh, in a different corner of the galaxy once, but um, it was about the movement and uh, people joining on learning about the movement and uh, at some point realizing that they are the movement too like uh, trying to find information, collect. So I joined, uh, I think I joined, I don't know what to do. And uh, after reading enough material, they realized, okay, now I feel like I'm part of it. So what I do is in fact, a part of it. So when people know enough about um, uh, maybe not what game B, uh, maybe not the definition of game B, but uh, when they, suck in enough knowledge, they can feel part of it and they can do their own thing, but it will be in the context of uh, everything else that is happening. And this can be sort of, yeah. I do, I think what might help as an onboarding, more so even than onboarding is to, um, a list of projects, <laughs> a list of like, what people are working on that's actually game B, like the wiki like this. And it's like, okay, if you think you're like, oh, you you think that we need a social, new social media platform, by all means, here are the 15 people already creating that, you know, work with them or convince them to come to yours, but to actually help. And that's why we do need people like Carrie, who is starting to do that. Let's have a conversation and guide you to where you need to go, because that is a more, per until we have the technology, 
it is a more personable thing that's needed to be like, oh, you're an artist, here's the artist group. Oh, you wanna do that piece, here's that piece. And then people, I think, more readily find what it is, like their niche of people. That's why I posted today, I wanted people to, to comment on, um, like here are the three groups I have right at the moment in the game B space, Who, how do other people connect to it? Because I think when people come in and they see that first of all, none of them are, are Jordan Hall and Jim Rutt and like, that's not, it's, it's all of the other people who are interconnected. And I know like being part of the Omega group and being part of this group, that it is everything we're doing in the game B space that's not this and everything we're doing in the world that's not considered game B that is informing us in this space and that we bring all of that stuff every time and in both good and bad ways, right? All of our shadow and all of our talents and challenges as well. And that to me like is game B, like it's like, oh, that I get to meet here and I meet with with Eric and Heather and David on and Kylie on Wednesdays and it, it if people had, and this is just where my mind wants to go of something we could create together is like, okay, here's your local group that you might be part of and meet with weekly. And here's your, you know, book club or whatever thing you're interested in intellectually. Here's your spiritual development thing. And what, and it's not, this is what a game B religion looks like. You're on board or you're not. It's like, Hey, people like having spiritual practices. Here's a handful of the ones we do circling this, that, and here are people you can do it with. Like more so than even just, you know, start meditating. Like, hey, if you you want a, to form a group, here's help in forming a group. And when we figure out that piece, you don't actually need to be in game B before you understand. Like you can just sign on and find people to do your piece of it with. Then I think we're, we're far into playing game B at that point in time. And that we can map that out and say, hey, I'm my node. And here's everyone who's connected to me. There was on the Tuesday solutions raising in my group after um, Jubilee, you had went to the other group. There was, I think his name was Alex. I'm not exactly sure, but he had mentioned as kind of an app to help like um, compile information and sort it out that would be kind of like, um, maybe a tool, a technology tool, um, I could see being used in the way that you just described, um, trying to do something like that. Yeah, it'd be interesting to learn what that tool is. There's a lot of tools in this space, but unfortunately they're all scattered. So the people are all scattered and then they all cost a lot of money per person you have working on your project, which means people need to be like 100% dedicated before you're paying $10 a month for each of them, as opposed to, Oh, well, this is interesting. Can I be one? Can I would be willing to pay $10 a month to be part of all of these projects, but not per project and not per. And I've yet to see something kind of come into the space that meets our game B needs. That's like, but that doesn't mean that there isn't one that's out there because we constantly are also coming up against things that even though we're in this space, it's like, oh, I've never heard of that. Oh, I've never heard of that. And that is something I think that is going to emerge. I don't know how it comes out, but we need to be able to organize beyond game B, what is happening in technology? Who's doing what? When is it coming out so we can actually use it? And is it actually coming out, right? Like how, because I think there's also that lack of transparency of like, oh, we've got that solved. Well, do you really? Because how, <laughs> if it's not coming out for six months, you do not have it solved. And even if it is out right now, does it actually meet the needs you think it needs? You know what? I could not find that. I thought it was a Google Doc that had, it wasn't the library, but it was the thing in the Game B main group that where they kind of tell new people, and I, I can't find it. <laughs> Do you mean the original? Doc? Like, I'm posting the welcome message every time, and I post what is the Game B document? It usually has Nick on the top. It had someone else on the top for a while. I think Daniel Jordan on the top for a while because he changed it. Yeah, but. right. Yeah, right. So is there any place to find that other than the periodic post welcoming new people? No, but that happens every week. So <laughs> I mean, well, I mean I, I, I'm not yeah. saying no, sorry. I don't so, know where I would find it. I always just find yeah. my last one and then copy and paste it from there. So. And so I'm thinking maybe right. I'm doing too much um, wordsmithing, but this kind of thing does kind of uh, disturb me. So I don't know if the about allows you to put links in there or something. Uh, and I thought you could pin things to the top. 
the announcements are all about admin stuff. I'm just thinking, you know, there really is no way to get to that document. And that is kind of, um, I think I know some of the admins. I might be able to, <laughs> yeah, I, might be able right. to do something about that. <laughs> I just don't know if the about, if you can put leaks in the about this group, uh, I think you can, but I don't, I don't know for sure. I'd have to try it on my own group, but it'd be nice if it was in there because then we could always easily find it. And I think that's where the people go. Um, and can you pin posts to the top of a group? I assume you probably can, so that might be the worst case be to, scenario. Yeah. 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 And, and I think there is, that's what I thought. I thought one was pinned, but what we could do is unpin the welcome post from last time and always repin the new one. So people have that because it also has um, Eric's Zoom call that I always post the first comments after I've welcomed people because it seems like a great way for people to go and actually meet people on video if they're not comfortable coming to live ones on YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, might be good to have like just a dedicated post for just like, hey, here's, you know, three to five important links. Because if I see a, a, a pin post and it's just like, hey, welcoming new members, I'm probably not going to expand it because I'm like, oh, that's just welcoming new members. Cool, I'll keep scrolling. Sure, but it does have the attachment of the document that is the bigger game B. Go here, go there, here's what's going on. Yeah, never just, I don't know if they would see that if it's even if it's the pinned post because I think you normally have to open it. I mean, unless so it, maybe it does, if it does have the box. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see how it looks and see if we can improve it. I mean, I think having it as long as uh, part of the issue might be in having it as the about that it is an open document that anyone can edit. Does that then mean anyone can edit it, right? Does that mean that someone who isn't even in game B can can go to it, read it and edit it and destroy it really, right? Without even ever being in this space. Well, so I would, yeah, so there's a couple ways to handle that. One is you can share it where people can comment on it, but not actually edit it. And then you can, and you can, or actually have people make suggestions, but not edit it. And then you can bring in the suggestions. The other thing is that you can create a second link. Uh, there's a way to link an, a read-only version. And then you could put that there, and then the other people could have edit access when they get That's in the group. Idea. But I think our whole group is public. So if it's an editable document, right now it's open to the internet. I think our whole group is public. Yeah, it is. Anyway. Or the admin group is talking about deleting the units because they're just confusing and it's not. <laughs> they need to either be updated with that document or they need to be deleted. It would, yeah, I agree with that. And <clears throat> you don't... <clears throat> You don't have to maintain it in two places. Yeah, which was my worry about having it comment only. It's like, that's kind of like giving Nick homework to be like, and then you have to put everything in and Nick has enough stuff going on. Like all of us. So. Well, well, I mean, if it's up at the top and it, then any, if, if some uh, multiple people are the edit link, then multiple yeah. people can update it, right? That is true. Lack of understanding on how it works. <laughs> Because I was thinking we should probably have Carrie update it with <laughs> um, uh, our list of projects once she kind of gets that together. Maybe a unit about game beat projects in this group would be useful. Yes. No idea well, how to make yeah. that. Or I mean, that, that content's useful. I don't know if it's best to use the, the units stuff or to post it some other way but yeah i think that's a good thing to think for <clears throat> think about yeah i do just constantly feel bad for people who come to the game b facebook group and it's like they feel lost and I'm getting to the point where I'm actually enjoying their lostness because I get what's on the other side of that. But all the people who come in are like, what the fuck is this shit show and leave. And it's like, they're just, which I feel like we also do when people get confused. Like I know it's like, yes, you're in the confusion. Congratulations. It's like when my kid's like, I'm bored. I'm like, you're welcome. You're welcome for your boredom. She has never yet thanked me for it. You know, <laughs> like it's, it's like, right. Cause you don't know that there's something coming through that, like find something to do. And uh, having I summoned. I'm. I don't fine. Know what I'm 
I'm fine with friction when it's of value, but do we think that that lostness is actually providing value, or is that just a lack of something else? Both. There is a lostness that does not provide value and makes them feel like they're not included. And, you know, like that piece I wish we could fix without fixing the other piece, which is you're never going to catch up. If you think you know game B, you don't know game B. If you haven't went through at least seven extra central crises since you came, maybe, you know, like there's a certain amount that is in the lostness. And I think that's why the onboarding has not quite happened before is that that's a part of it that there is no, this is game B, you're on it or you're not. It's like even the Facebook group that is the biggest concentration of game B people is not game B. And so it's hard to do one without the other, I think. I, well, I don't know. I see them as unrelated. Coming in and feeling lost because you have no context for the conversations going on as opposed to feeling lost because you realize the conversation is so big you'll never know it all. I think you can eliminate one and still have the other just be as effective because even if we have a document explaining everything the first thing it should explain is this is not everything <laughs> you know um i don't think that that reduces their the feeling of it being so big that I, I'm, I'm never going to know anything but i could be wrong mm -hmm. and jim Rudd's trying to kind of um reawaken the reddit what I would like to see in the Reddit is people posting what they think is game B, right? All the Daniel Schmachtenberger, Brett Weinstein, all of that stuff. And then upvoting like, yes, I, not just because we see their freaking face, but yes, I've watched this and this is game B, right? This is what I would say is one of the first, like the sense making by Daniel Schmachtenberger, the first one is one of the ones I would hold because it's one of the first things I listened to. Um, like picking the top two or three things. Like I love it when people come in and you're like, well, just watch 50 series of John Verbeke, the 50 hours lecture series. All of, keep up on the, you know, Rebel Wisdom podcast and this podcast. And it's like, it's not happening. And we can't expect that of new people in game B and definitely not all the game A people that we hope are eventually going to come on board with game B. And I need to mute and go deal with my smoke detector. It's going to keep chirping. So someone else. So I imagine this, uh, I have this picture of uh, traveling around, along a road and uh, suddenly there is this uh, town or uh, like place on the map that is uh, chaotic and I don't know what it is and uh, I kind of know what it is but not um, like all of it, I have a feeling only. Um, and then uh, people in this situation uh, tend to uh, either they feel um, affiliated enough so they stay and they uh, help with <laughs> help maintaining the chaos or build it or whatever uh, spreading it uh, but some people can feel like okay it's only chaos so it's not valuable enough for me to stay um, so it would be very different if uh, before they enter this land of everything they the first thing they saw was uh, like um, uh, not signpost, but uh, like a gateway, like a um, gate with um, concise and uh, smart enough and um, short but a descriptive information of um, yes, this is supposed to be chaotic. Yes, this is supposed to you are enter this. Um, this land, which has this characteristic, and please don't expect anything to be already built. Uh, you are expected to um, actually find out on your own what it is, and something like this. But there is something signifying entering a space of chaos, or at least, uh, or, at, or at least, uh, like not very defined space and yes please don't define game b it's supposed to be undefined that's so what should say on the sign on the door <laughs> but something something that actually marks entering the space yes so i found that document and yeah i was wrong it's, it's a facebook doc um which I don't know if you can share that in the about page, but I think that'd be a nice place to put it or to pin it itself. Cause I'd like to reference that 
even though I'm not new. I will. I will pin it to the top. Cool. Can you send it? I think I can follow it from any of the new ones, and then I can just pin it to the top. Yeah, it's own, I can also. It's own post. I'll send the link since I got it in my. All right. I was gonna awesome. post it on the on this um, discussion. So. Um, so other people watching can look at it. Well, except that it's. Hmm. So it might be interesting, Martouche, to look at that and see if it kind of does what you what you were thinking, which I think it might indirectly. I still think it'd be nice if there's a short preamble that says, you know, yeah. you're, <laughs> this is none of this is dogma or none, you know, none of this is should be taken. This is all fluid and changeable, and um, I mean, they'll probably get that when they go into it. There does not appear to be a way to pin it to the top because it's a doc and not a post. But I can create a post and then pin that to the top. Yeah. That might be good. One thing missing from here, and it's old, like 26th of February. Uh, the recent um, history of uh, those on Rebel Wisdom as well, uh, Jim Rat and. Um, Mr. Weinstein, uh, the history of like the first uh, iteration of Gamby, which was very, very interesting and uh, putting some stuff in context for me, at least. Uh, because um, only after watching it, uh, I was able to understand more about uh, who, the, who some people are uh, slightly better. It's like uh, why uh, uh, Jim and um, some other people uh, mentioned in the in the uh, in the discussion uh, and what they tried uh, and what they created a uh, few years ago and um, it gives some context to what uh, game B is now and just the information that there was something before like. Uh, Having it was like the feeling was like having some venerable ancestors I wasn't aware of before, and it was cool. <laughs> there was something before, and um, it did not uh, succeed too much because of this and this and this. And uh, what we are cre creating right now is uh, not maybe not the second version of, of it, but something new. And uh, definitely, we need to be aware of what uh, was there before, in order to not repeat some. Yeah, I think, and this yeah. is an editable document. So that February twenty sixth, that was the original creation date, but it's been edited mm -hmm. multiple times. So I would actually think, yeah, I would post that one as the second explainer, or and I would just say history of Game B, um, or maybe put it in the summary documents. Uh, maybe summary documents. And I'll, I'll probably make it the first summary document. Uh, fine, and fine. just say history of gaming. That's that's kind of what how I do with that. Now, there was a previous podcast uh, uh, where they talked about the history of Game B, and that's where I got a lot of that info. Although, technically, I don't think I've watched the new one. I kind of skipped it because I thought they were rehashing much of that. But, yeah, I think that that's very helpful to know the history. So that's what I would I would edit this document and either put it under the summary documents or the explainers. Just call it history of Game B or whatever. And anyone should be able to edit this. Maybe it's not reasonable to you to tell people to watch the whole fifty hours of uh, the meaning crisis. Uh, it took me like a month to watch it all, <laughs> um, but a few hours, surely. Like one for the history, uh, yeah. The also very informative was, uh, and I'm not sure if it's linked. The fifth attractor by Jim Rudd. It was 
very good reading. I think that sounds like that would be one of the really nice things about getting the Reddit group going, is you can do posts like, hey, what do you think are the, you know, the must watches for people who are new to game B? And then see mm -hmm. what the community sort of submits and see what they agree on as like, here's the three to five main videos. Like if you really want a good intro, go watch these. And the value of Reddit is that you can kind of vote things up. Right. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, like, everyone gets that'd a minute. Be, that'd be a great use so of Reddit. That's a good idea. So maybe we could participate over there and, um, which I'd also kind of like to use that even just as, you know, uh, uh, again, try to preframe it as we aren't looking for dogma, but more just looking for like some signposts for like, what do people think of are the main sort of components of game B or of a game B project or, cause then again, everyone can submit the, the community can vote and then you can start to see like what, you know, do, how many people think that it's cooperation? How many people think it's anti rivalrous How many people think that it's Omni win? and see sort of which words resonate and, and which things get downvoted and which, you know, one spawn a whole conversation underneath that, that sort of get, get gets interesting. And because now it's, uh, <laughs> it might be like, uh, you know, seeing an octopus with all the, all you see is tentacles like everywhere. And what you need to know is this is the head and this tentacles start here. So you may as well start here and just follow. The... <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking the first link on there is Eric's Game B Concepts. Yeah, I guess this first one, What is Game A, is a pretty good intro. I'm just wondering if that's a, if that series is a summary. And yeah, part two. But that's not a link to a list. That's a link to a video. Sorry, I'm diagnosing everything. They need a link to a list. Because otherwise the YouTube algorithm decides what's next. <laughs> yeah, let's see if I'm correct there. Yeah, that's not a list. All right, maybe I can find, see if he's made a list and update that. So the game... Reddit I just put up there is Game B Reddit, but then after Game B on the top it says Economic Manhattan Project, which I don't know who <laughs> did that. What that means? Game B Wiki. I mean, it's definitely Game B. There's sense making. Jordan Hall's face. Dennis Rockenberger. Discussing game B. Maybe there's more than one game B community subreddit. I also don't know how Reddits work. I was trying to do one for solution raising of like, is there one group that you can have subgroups? So you could have one thread of that, of like, what is the, like what we were just saying, but having multiple. Otherwise it's like all in one. And then how do you upvote it? How do you actually, someone just has to make a post saying what is relevant game B intro material and then people post and would upvote it as as they, and then when something new comes in, it goes brand new, but then it doesn't necessarily, I don't know, like, is it up the, the parent post? Or does it just, you would need to know to look back to that one in order to then upvote? Because I know that's part of what Reddit does is it's not just like, it's like, let's gather all of the people and now let's vote on it. It's when you submit something new, it gives you a higher ranking so that new people see it. But if it, if it, isn't relevant, it's very quickly goes to the background or no one sees it. I will say I'm looking at the the sort of the, the Reddit page for game underscore B. It's not very active. And then I look at just R slash game B and that seems like a lot more active. It gave me a warning like oh, that there have been over a thousand visits to this in the last week and there's a whole bunch of posts in the last week in the last 14 days. So I'm not sure w which And is. it also has a, um, a wow words a logo for that like yeah. the actual logo that's on ours okay True. so ignore what i put up before everybody <laughs> is that not the exact same thing i just put up no there's no underscore right but i just copied and pasted it okay no i didn't i didn't copy and paste it <laughs> like it's the same thing okay oh okay, yeah and the moderator of of that one is G jim rod so of this one, right? Yeah, yeah of, the, of the one that you just posted, yeah. The one without the underscore, so. 
We have the right link. Let's see. All right, so I updated the link on the the first link on there to be to the actual playlist and not just the first video. So, which is good. We don't want the game. We don't want the YouTube algorithm deciding what our introduction yeah. video set is, right? It's true. Or it's like, what can we create together? We're like, let's fix Game B Facebook group because that is what we can create together right now. Now we're into like the meta meta project. Oh, and someone's got a uh, Jordan Hall Civium project, which I still have not been able to sit through and get something out of, which is on me, not on him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I wonder if we should, or if at some point we should put the Reddit also on that list of links, but it sounds like we're, I don't want to just fill it up with stuff. Like even that, right? That when you get to game B Facebook group, that you know that there's a Reddit, that there's a Discord, which I don't even think you can keep a Discord link permanent. I think you have mm -hmm. to constantly update it for the newest invite. Um, and Twitter, right? Like, and I don't even understand how Game B is Twitter because I don't understand anyone has conversations on Twitter, even though I'm on Twitter. Like, how how do you, you have to tag everything Game B and then find it? And then I don't really understand this, but it's on there, and there are people who exist yeah. on it. And I wonder so if like. Maybe it's the Twitter hashtags that you're. They do have the Game B Discord Listen. server. They have a link to it. I don't know if it's an invite uh, under the participation thing. So it's at there. And they do have the Game B hashtag on Twitter linked. So at least people can kind of. Yeah, it's more surfing on Twitter than having a destination. Um... Also, realize who was it the other day? Like, I have a different level of celebrity than other people. Oh, guy, send stock. I'm like, why don't you have a blue check next to your name? I'm like, right, because no one. <laughs> I understand. I understand why. And like Nick has like 250 followers who wouldn't, I know, be a celebrity, but he's he's amazing in this space. And anyway. Of course, now I just thought we have this great intro document. Is it locked into Facebook? Let me see no. if we can access it. Because it'd be nice if we could link to it from from uh reddit and from twitter mm, and stuff gotcha uh no it's visible outside facebook all right that's good cool i would still rather it be a oh. google doc than facebook but discord server collaboration game B, thank you on twitter game B coffee house oh you mean down there yeah they don't have the reddit at the moment uh yes right yeah, they don't have Reddit yet. So it might be nice to... I think Reddit would fit on there. I'd, yeah. And then even all of the... Um, like, there's the Trello board that is for the Game B coffee house. And, like, the thing is, is once you get off of Game A social media, it expands exponentially. It's like, oh, yeah, and then Praxium. Dot, and I don't remember, I ever remember what Janelle's one is. And the knack wiki which uh, carrie said she wants uh, access to so she can keep it updated um anyway yeah keeping that updated is complex in and of itself it's like yes we all agree we don't want to be on facebook and there is no alternative right now that is actually an alternative that brings people in and finds them that if and when that exists then we can keep game b facebook group open as just and now go here and <laughs> now go here but Discord's not it for sure. Like it's just not enough. It's cool, but it's not. It's not game A enough, and it's not game B enough. Here's working. Perfect. Oh, there's the liminal learning portal. Yes, all the projects. So is someone going to go ahead and edit that doc and add the... Do we want to add the Reddit group to it? I don't actually know how to do that. With the, Oh, wait, edit. Right at the top there. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and I have less access than you, so... Right. We're in control. Don't tell anybody. Reddit. Is it, are they called subreddits? Or can I just put Reddit? I think yeah, you yeah. can just put Reddit. Yeah, if you're just putting a Reddit link, but technically it's called a subreddit. But they know what you mean. Yeah. 
think. Yeah, I don't think our uh, project thing would be here. I'd almost rather it be that, although we might want that. But but there's a link on here to go to the Game B Facebook groups, and then on there we should have something similar to this where people can then find all of our stuff, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it would be good, and I know Wiki tried to do that. My mute's still nothing. That Wiki, yeah, tried to do that, right? And it's hard to keep that up to date, but that's kind of part of it, right? That people come in and people leave and people are like, let's try this. And then the project goes by the wayside is part of figuring all that out. The process, yeah. But maybe we should go ahead and create one of these in our group and pin it at the top to be consistent and have links. Yeah, I would like there. something a little more table-esque where it's like you don't have to click on it because it's hard enough to know what game B is, right? But you know if it's under game B and you're going to game B Reddit, you kind of understand. Whereas if you're talking about like the Hope Project, well, what is that, right? If you're talking about reason score, some of them are a little more obvious what they are. Well, the yes. election, it's like, well, what so, is that it's under sense making, right? That it's well, that. It's, I, right. I, well, I was thinking just a introduction doc with a couple links and then it would link to that table. And we may only have one link right now. <laughs> so it may just be, hey, go here. <laughs> go to Adriel's project. Um, yeah, do we have anything else that we would want to explain or link to? I mean, maybe a quick paragraph. I mean, well, I, the, the, the about thing on our group says what we are, right? I haven't even read it forever. Did I write it? <laughs> I haven't read it in a while as well. <laughs> Who knows? Um, yes, and although this has somewhat become a Together Tech Board meeting, this is not the Together Tech Board meeting, and we could put this all on the agenda for, for next week for, like, thinking about it over the next week and then actually making a to-do list next week if we haven't already done things by then, because anyone's free to do that in the meantime. A Game awesome. B community group to support each other in Game B experiments and projects and finding solutions to problems without a project yet. That's perfect. I personally would go ahead and just repeat that on that other document because you never know who's going to do it. And then I wonder if we can, if we can, I have access to this. I wonder if you can put links in the about. I would like it there. Oops. And tell me, and then. I've not saved the changes. Stay on the page. Publish update. Okay, good. Reddit does have two Ds. It's always good when you spell something wrong. <laughs> well, yeah, especially since a lot of those, <laughs> a lot of these things are spelled wrong intentionally. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Reddit, Reddit. If you can figure out how to put a document, a link in the document, I can always do it on the Game B page, theoretically. Although there might be a reason we don't have it there, but. Oh, that's long. Although, no, if I just add that, <laughs> then people can edit it, right? But we don't want to just add that. I think you can, though. Which one are you adding? Well, I was going to add it to our, the link to the game, B, like that thing we were talking about to the description on the actual Game B page, but that's, we, it needs to be a comment only and or read only. Play along. That's what we do as systems that fortify society, fall apart, financial systems, political systems, public education systems. Too impatient to wait for the answer, a team of scientists, artists, entrepreneurs, and inventors have joined together to stop playing along and start creating the conditions for a new game to emerge. I also think maybe right in that, you know, like, welcome to the chaos, like that entryway that Matouche was talking about. Like, it's chaotic. You're welcome. <laughs> in more wordsmithed than that. And also for done with this conversation, we can always stop it. And everyone's meeting up tomorrow for round table. I will not be here for round table tomorrow. I should be here. 
Also, Adriel, you will be here, right? That's the yep. important person who can also go live. So <laughs> there's your account. Which, hey, if people meet, oh, we, we all see someone to add them to. I could probably do that, but. But yes, we do this every week at this time. Every other week is the board meeting. And then we're still figuring out what to do with this space, clearly. Might become the board meeting now that we have more things to do. Or maybe we'll have another round table or Dia Cafe, whatever it turns into. We're open to ideas. And then Saturday mornings, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we have round tables. People can bring their project, even if your project is you. <laughs> and what have you been up to? And what are you taking on? and offer each other help, hopefully creating OmniWin solutions. Does anyone have anything else they want to add before? You don't, before we stop live. Nope, all right. We don't seem to talk about today. So goodbye, Facebook and